Hello, boys. Today we are doing the Cuphead bosses. They are not ranked on difficulty, as I have never played the game. They are ranked on how interesting they look. Um, new plan, boys. We will rank them on how strong they really would be. So, I don't care how difficult you are in the game. If you are technically weak, you're weak. So, let's take for an example Goopy Legrand. If Goopy. Normally, Groupie is fairly weak. However, if he turns into the gravestone and smashes on you, that's not going to be one HP. That's going to be your entire life in real life, you know? So, which is stronger and got more DPS overall is going to be higher on the list. We're going to start with one as the weakest and then move our way up because I did not count. I got a list right here. Let's get this going. Um, so I think one of the weaker characters is Goopy. Um, ooh, I do, however, I don't think so he gets last place due to his graveyard slam being pretty strong overall. It's not the strongest, it's a pretty strong hit. It won't send you to the grave, but it will definitely do some big damage. Cagney Carnation... I don't know how big is he, like, how big that flower is, you know? If it's as tall as a normal flower, yeah, Cagney's not a threat. But if it's, like, giant flower, oh boy. Cagney, Cagney's a huge threat like that. And due to the not knowing of the size, I really can't rank Cagney as the lowest. Uh, the root pack looks like some giant vegetables. And, um, dirt balls aren't gonna hurt. Onion tears not so much but i do think that uh, hypnotic lasers are pretty deadly um so i don't think so they can go to the bottom either i think it has to go to ooh, i was thinking verna vermin but uh verna vermin actually has fire and his cat form saves him from the bottom king dice has a lot of minions uh, however thinking back to the minions none of them are like hella scary fear lap no chips no cigar mm -mm. none of them seem really scary um king dice himself only with some cards so i think that uh, he's probably taking this one boys i'm looking at the list i don't think so anyone's weaker than him he's been taking number one boys um after that i'm gonna go for the root pack Due to their hypnotic laser being way too slow and uh, just not enough to uh, bring them any higher. So you're getting second place there, buddy. Sorry, I just have some nose drama today. I don't know why I said before the video. After this is definitely going to be Ribby and Croaks. This is not even close. Um, not Ribby and Croaks. What do I mean? Uh, scrap that. Goopy the Grand, bruh. Disgusting. Why is Ribby and Croaks? that low. The Baroness von Bon Bon, she seems rather small. I feel like her height would be around here. Like, this is her entire castle. Um, because then it's like, compared to the Pokeball, ball, she isn't that much bigger. And due to that, um, although her attacks seem kind of threatening, they, uh, I don't think so I can put her any higher than bottom five. So, yeah. Ooh, actually, I think I might have been doing this wrong. I do think King Dice is bottom, but the Root Pack and Goopy are saved because I think that, uh, uh there's something weaker in Baroness and Sally Stage Play. Now, Sally Stage Play, her entire idea is that she's an actress and everything that she does isn't really that deadly, so... Yeah, <laughs> Root Pack 4, Goopy 5, so, you know, keep up with the list, keep up with the list, boys. After that, it's it's a little harder, like, Hilleberg has arrows, and that's pretty deadly, Wally Warbles has, um, spear wet feathers, and Wally Warbles 
has, his son has lasers and spiked eggs. It seems like normally that'd be okay, but here it looks not enough. Like Mortimer Freeze, the moon, the Moonshine Mob has bombs, and really annoying musical instruments, snail lasers, uh, and a giant ant eater. So I don't think so. I can put them here either. Angel and Devil. Half of it is completely harmless. However, the Devil, the Devil's got fire. And that seems pretty fucking scary. One of is definitely not down here. It, magic is very strong. So I feel like it's gonna be Wally Warbles because I can't think of anything that Wally has that is stronger than uh, the other choices I have here. And I'm not. I'm gonna consider Tangy as a big flower instead of a tiny flower. However, if it is tiny, remember to put it down at the probably bird. Um, However, I'm going to give Kanye the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Wally Warbles, second place. Oh, the dragon. I gotta write down the dragon. Why am I so stupid? Okay. After this, I have to, I have to think. Honey Bottoms, what is Honey Bottoms? Okay, Honey Bottoms, she's a giant bee. She has a lot of, yeah, she has a lot of moves, actually. She's pretty powerful, so. I don't think it's down here. I think it has to be you. Cagney or Werner Vernon? I'm gonna go with Werner. Uh, I don't think so. Werner has anything to beat out Cagney here. Now, the only reason I kept um, that be the clowns uh, around here is that he has uh, the roller coaster, which is pretty deadly. But other than that, I actually can't think of what makes him so impressively scary. So I'm gonna have to put him at 8th place. And Kangy is gonna take 9, okay? So that means Werner is 7. Because I can't give Kangy that much leeway. Uh, especially with uh, the stuff that she's fighting here. Now, after this, I feel like, um... I feel like that there's a... Hmm, the Calamaria can turn into stone, which is hella da dangerous. Uh, so I don't think so I can put her here. Captain Briny Beard has, ship has lasers, so that's also pretty overpowered. I think it's probably going to be the, um... Uh, Astra the Cow, um, isn't the strongest, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, Hildeberg, Ribby and Kropes is like just kind of a box. They got lasers, they got the slot machine. They, they're not the weakest, but they, with the, they got some competition. That's what I'm trying to say, you know? Uh, Mordier, Freeze is a bit strong. Howling Aces has lasers and stuff, so. This is very hard right now, especially without any previous planning. I think. I think, hmm, Glumstone is huge. Glumstone, Glumstone doesn't even need any of these hacks. He can pick up a bear and chuck it across mountains. Oh, uh, so I don't think so. He's even near the bottom. Doctor called robot. I think that's not crazy. I think I have to go with Esther the Cowboys. Esther, Esther has safe. Esther has snake oil dynamite but even all that her last two phases are sausage which really lowers the firepower that esther has after that it's definitely angel and devil fight uh not bad but um i forgot to add the king's gauntlet i was going to do them separately However, now they, you forced my hand, and now you're gonna have to be all ripped up together. Um, the King's Gauntlet. Now, the thing about the King's Gauntlet is that them by themselves aren't that scary, but combined, there's a knight which has a sword. Bishops, bishops not very scary. The pawn not very scary, but the rook has is pretty big, has an axe, and uh, you know there's some sparks flying at you. The queen. 
shakes her uh, eggs and the jewelry fly out and bang, bang, bang. You know, that, that might hurt a little bit. And then, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see this being any higher. Uh, yeah. Oh, she has some kind of big lion thing that just kind of pushes at you. Yeah, I'm, a. Uh, this might, I might be giving them a little too much leeway, but I'm going to put them at 12. I really don't think they're any stronger than the Angel Devil's Light. Fire on it is, I don't think so it's as strong as the entirety of King's Gauntlet. So yeah, I'm going to go with that. This is part one of the video. I'm going to go think a little more of this.